hands. Let's give him a good show. Touch gloves if you want. Let's see if Mike will throw hard, and then we get an idea. He'll throw uh, sneaky punches, right hand leads. You have to question how much these guys spoke to each other, and for me, for Mike Tyson. And already, I, I mean, that was an exhibition fight. When he was the menacing Iron Mike Tyson, Mike is cute. On the far side of Ray Corona. Come on the chest and keep Mike off him so Mike can't land Big Jr. Roy misses the jab. Mike, uh, old black, short black trunks. He comes after him with the hook. Mike keeps throwing punches. Well, this is a licking with that jab, and he's got a great jab. Bouncing left and right, and then he then throws. Roy Jones Jr. Roy's really hasn't got off yet. He's a little bit slow. Uh, Roy's legs don't look really strong right now to really get with the cardio going. Fighting so far, but I think Mike Tyson is dominating the shots. He this is one of those uh, awkward sort of punches in one of the seen in land five hooks. Mike Tyson seems to be uh, the third round. As Roy, uh, the first fight that I saw Mike uh, in an exhibition against Corey Stan, Youngstown. As they can, so that they can have an explosion. That was a referee now saying, watch those heads. Mike come that side and then throw a blast with his right hand. He threw it kind of his opponent and then come back with a hook with, or a little bit lower underneath the elbow. But again, he can chew up probably 20 or 30 seconds in a two minute round. By or working with him. So Mike jabbing again, trying to work. He could do this for three minute rounds, for 12 rounds when he was C, but you can't expect it. Round. Mike hasn't really worked to do that. Caught him in the body, caught him in the bow, side of the old killer. As he comes back out, he still throws the fourth round. So again, better than a sparring. Big, big, heavy shot. And again, with a heavyweight gun in the first part of his career. Says pot shot him, pot shot him, and then grab. Just really sit down on a punch to the body. Created that, pulling a guy's elbow forward and blasting him down there on the inside. But I'll tell you this, they're working for you. Roy wanted to end this fight. There we go. And here we go. 776, you fucking hit him. But it's uh it's entertaining. It's that's moving like this, you know that he means business. There's a hard one when he used to like bend at the knees and come up with a big uppercut. There's a jab after the last round. I don't know what that right now. Two legends, two called, and I called almost all of his fights, and most of Roy Jones is fighting just to be here and be involved with this. All right, look at this replay. Mike misses over the head. Certainly would have bought it on pay-per-view, because you want to see him. Here's Roy picking it. Had, had his head uh, on that side, and then blast with his right hand. These aging warriors. Two great fighters, only for the anticipation. Watch your head. That's why we buy lottery. The uh, Hall of Famer from Puerto Rico. What is this? This has been pretty good to this this far in the fight. A little bit here. I know I can see Mike Tyson with the adrenaline. Because his timing isn't there. Now he goes southpaw and tries to. And his Tyson. Both of these guys have great teacher feints. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that point anyway. Roy misses his own self at this stage, being that he's had the determination. 20 seconds to go in the fun last uh, exchange. Roy's as uh, Roy and Mike. The world champions is a draw. <laughs> Roy Jones, but Roy knew how to handle it and was able to land probably more, a lot more punches. Comments of Snoop Dogg in the background there. I like you. He's your friend. He can't, he can't hit you.